He is the source for our provision. How many of you guys remember Moses in the wilderness? The people were out there. They're in the desert. They're in the wilderness, and they need meat. And so Moses goes to God, and he says, God, we need some grub. We need some meat. We have this army, this army of 600,000 men. Not talking about women, not talking about children, right? Not, not the families. No, I have an army of 600,000 men, and they can eat. They can eat. And so the Lord says, okay, I'll get you some meat. And, the Mo- and Moses is like, really, that's all it takes? Like, don't you realize that there's 600,000 men in this army? And I want you to notice what, how God responds in, in Numbers chapter 11, verse 23. It says, the Lord said to Moses, has the Lord's arm been shortened? Has the Lord's arm been shortened? Now you shall see whether what I say will happen to you or not. Don't you just love that? I mean, Moses goes, are you sure you can pull this one off? I mean, we're in the middle of nowhere. That's a lot of meat. How are you going to feed 600,000 men? What happens? The Lord sends so much quail meat that they spent the whole day, the whole night, and the whole next day gathering meat in the middle of nowhere, in the wilderness. And they, that, that meat fed two to three million people in the wilderness for a month. How many of you guys know that when you think there is no way for God to provide, when we make him our source, he makes a way. 